morning. Thank you all for being here. Thank you to the organizers for your efforts and your coalition building. My name is Jeremy Hahn, and this presentation is entitled Layers of Sky, Choreographing Dystopian Reworlding Performances. To crack the binding of the story, let's begin with a quote from the performance uh, Layers Adult Storytime. Plastic, plastic everywhere. In our blood, it lives. Climate changes, species die, a slow end it gives. As according to the nursery rhyme, these words set the ominous dystopian tone for the piece and the subsequent analysis of the work. I'd like to reveal the constellation points of the presentation. From my analysis, I understand that the intersections of the following categories evident in the work and the creative process are examples of choreographic reworlding performances as generative praxis. Sites of this analysis are two interdisciplinary companion pieces created, choreographed, performed, and directed by Los Angeles-based theater artist, Sky. For the context of this work, I see the performance of queer identity aligning with physicist Karen Berard's definition of queer, which they describe as lively, mutating organism, a promiscuously inventive spatio-temporality. By imagining alternative realities and reworlding existing paradigms through performance, these pieces are cautionary tales that function as artistic metaphors constructed and performed within the live work loft space at the Brewery Artist Complex in Lincoln Heights while moving with the convergence of poly crises. Drawing upon the work of Andre Lepecki, I position choreography as a technology for inventing movements of freedom. The effort and agency is linked to Sky's skillful crafting of gender performativity to intervene with the binary. Media and Cultural Studies professor Derek Burrell explains performativity as self-reflexive processes where the apparatus of theater, drama, dance, performance is itself under inspection. The central object of study becomes the body and its signifying complexity and tenuous presence. This process destabilizes representation of self and scrambles existing identity frameworks. The work explicitly reveals this through the performative choreographic devices of camp and drag as embodiments of political disruption. Sky, as a mercurial fool, performs every character within the cinematic and live performance, reimagining self in conversations with ideologies and social systems, reconfigures reality in unpindownable queerness. The relationship between technology and the corporeal further complicates a tidy reading of the work in Sky's identity, which further heightens the uncertainty that what is real in the existing digital physical dialogues with online presence. The overarching theme of this work is disappearance. The temporariness of existence through the delivery of death slides through layers. This piece is an excavation process that plays with the fallibility of memory. As an autobiographical expression, Skye's lived experiences and ongoing navigation living as a queer artist inform the creative materials of layers. This question fuels my choreographic analysis of the work. How can performance and writing practices of reworlding intervene with dominant narratives of oppression found within the queer archive? With this framing in mind, I asked them, who is Sky? And they replied, E, but most people just leave the E silent. I am a transdisciplinary queer artist. My favorite definition that I have heard thus far is that we experiment between and beyond traditional art forms so that we might birth something new into the world. Utilizing queer methodologies that allows me to get comfortable in the uncomfortable, unknown spaces. And then I asked, what is layers? And they answered with a choreographed collaging of clips from layers that will provide viewers a glimpse into the creative nightmare fairy tale of these performances. Something that happens once is noise. Twice, it could be coincidence. Three times, and it is music. 
To synthesize these images methodologically, I deploy a queer contemplative pedagogy. This framework attends to the queer gestures of critique occurring throughout the work. My body is in conversation with the performance heightened by sections of audience interaction where I am asked to experience my present in moment-to-moment -moment awareness. Sky invites us to sing with them or witness as they draw a farewell gesture with ink. Layers is also situated within the specific location of our live work loft, navigates the pedagogies of pandemic era biannual art walk and the history of factory production and this location as a former brewery and Edison power plant. Pedagogies in place encounter ideologies impacting the choreographic assembling of commentary, camp and drag to disrupt digit, or rigid binaries and representations. Pedagogies are also linked to lineages of materials, which within layers are upcycled from community leftovers and discarded projects. In an interview, Sky shared that Jack Halberstam's theory of queer failure permeates the work. Failure to adhere or reach or achieve normativity spills in excess throughout the performance, and with each mistake, many of which are intentional, or are they? <laughs> During the performance disrupts the polished veneer of a product-oriented capital, capitalist-based performance for profit. Utilizing the method of choreographic analysis, I consider the tethering and shifting, building and eroding of Sky's identity and feel the walls shake with each SF imagination flowing through their poetry. This choreography of freedom reshapes a dystopian world where queerness is stigmatized and seen as an abomination of nature. Their nonlinear presentation questions the thickness of reality while sliding in fluid waves, shifting gender performativity. Theoretically, due to the autobiographical essence of the work and the imaginative choreographic weaving of theater, dance, and film elements, I turn to Gloria Anzaldúa's generous framework, a metaphysics of radical interconnectedness, and generous um, and generative womanist theory of autohistoria teoria. And so Dua claims that to engage in this process is to participate in two or more literary genres, registers, separate temporalities, and historical periods. Using transdisciplinary methods and through the retelling and performing of layers, the work reinvents identity through the transformational portal of the pandemic. This is an ongoing and messy process rooted in art practice, which when attended with care, is a generative site of transformation and becoming. Weaving the personal and the creative world in practices of SF are the other net bag of connections offered by Donna J. Haraway. She proposes that SF is a practice and process. It is becoming with each other in surprising relays. It is a figure for ongoingness in the Thulacine. She considers SF as multiple interactions, such as science fiction and speculative feminism. By writing body and technological stories, Layers flits between autobiography, dystopian narratives, and fairy tale to reworld and critique mechanisms impacting gender queer subject. Jose Munoz comments on the generative aspects of fairy tale and proposes that it need not be a retreat from reality, but be a certain way of facing it. Through the careful analysis of the work, I see Sky's identity, identity obscured by drag and excess, while a shifting proximity to the audience and the use of technology questions the temporality of the subject and give waves to multiple readings and questions. Camp is an exaggerated parody. According to director Charles Ludlow in his Theater of the Ridiculous, camp is an outsider's view of things. From this vantage point, the choreography of SF imagines worlds of destruction, transforming the sites of possibility, which gesture towards the presence and not quite here of queer. The fluid interplay between elements such as voice, proximity, materials, appearance, reconsiders how a, gear, a queer gendered person is seen and portrayed. Didactic artistry offers frameworks for the audience to develop a relationship with the project. They are considered part of the art. And I ask, where is the boundary? How does the permeability of the fourth wall create a common space for dialogue 
that shifts between formal presentation of characters and the unscripted exchange of the moment. Reclaiming and redefining stories from dreams, SF, and lived experiences, sky collages themselves through shifting temporalities, resisting binary projections of gender categorization. From my analysis, I witnessed the generative reworlding practices propelled, propelling performance as a gesture of freedom that uplifts queer epistemologies during the dystopian polycrisis of the digital age. These imaginative efforts critique unjust systems, utilize SF as a choreography of reclaiming occurring throughout the hideously exaggerated realm of theater and the blurry boundary with the quotidian. As a site of further inquiry, I am curious how the contextual situatedness of the work shifts when we leave our live work loft and how the pedagogies of alternative spaces impact layers. The end for now. <laughs>